So I'm gonna read my results again. I'll start with U Olerato. Mm. The alleged father is excluded as the biological father of the tested child. The probability of paternity Amatuba could be low is zero percent. So Olerato is not your child. So Zilela to the second child and the probability of paternity when it comes to Obabu Bili Nomdwana or Tipiso, zero percent. The last child that was tested, Obu Kamuso. My results are the alleged father is excluded as the biological father of the tested child. So all these children are not yours. Hey, Banna. Oh. Hey, Banna. Thoughts? Oh, shame, Billy, eh? Mm-hmm. Hey, take. Oh, this is the main reason why when a woman cheats, it's a lot worse. It is a lot worse, to be honest, because there are consequences like this. Mm -hmm. Of course, also there's consequences of a man also pulling up with a kid as well. But that's not, you can't lie about that paternity. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like you can't lie, like, it's, it's yours and you can't make me raise your kids without me knowing that it's not my kid. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And what makes things worse, like us as black people, mm -hmm. we have a lineage, we yeah. have ancestors, yes. we have these traditional things that we do and mm. paternity fraud is really bad because now you're robbing you're robbing a child of their actual lineage yes. you're robbing a child of their actual of being with their actual ancestors yeah you're robbing a child of being with their actual family absolutely and and remember we were having this discussion before that mm. paternity fraud is so rampant that we might actually never know if we actually really belong exactly. to a certain lineage a certain, mm. because somewhere down the line one of our ancestors or whatever could have done a paternity fraud yep and a kid that and you actually that that messes up everything mm. like if you think about it you don't belong to that family yeah. at all that you are you know hitting your chest about belonging to mm. but you might not actually it's belong to crazy that and like how many if you think about it how many people are probably grow have grown up or are growing up in the wrong family in the wrong family or with the wrong or being raised by the wrong father or something like that and like it's yeah. crazy that there's no consequences for for this so there are two ways to get around this i think paternity testing should be mandatory absolutely like, I think I the baby's born it's mandatory yeah, it's it part of the whole birthing process yeah. there will be so so much less of these situations mm -hmm. and i feel like it is something that's really avoidable if paternity testing was made mandatory at birth yeah there'll be so much less of this yeah it's like it's like this thing that andrew tate said 99 percent of the world's problems would, would go away right now yeah if women would have their body counts on their forehead on their forehead like for everybody I I think 99% of the world's problems, and no one's going to understand this, but if you can extrapolate, if you can listen to this statement and extrapolate it out towards society at large, I think 99% of the world's problems would be solved if females walked through life with their body count on their forehead. Because it would prevent, because it would prevent all of the disintegration of morals, it would prevent so many things about the world. <laughs> who's who's going to be a hold in? Uh, everybody can see everybody. I bought then men's body count must also be on the It's forehead. fine, but it's it's it would be better for us if it's higher. Oh that's what God, that's what Tate yeah. was saying. Like if things are out in the open. Yeah. Like there'll be none of this secrecy, there'll be none of this yeah. like frauding each other. Well and obviously people would be more careful with what they do. Yes. Because now it's like Because so now happy. we live in a world where like sexual liberation is just it's acceptable and being promiscuous is is acceptable. Yeah. But we forget that the reason why women were not allowed to be promiscuous was to avoid things like this. I don't know, as a, as a guy, this is one of the worst things that you can do to a person. Yeah, it's one of the worst I honestly things. feel like it's one. It's a very evil thing to do. Hmm. Very, especially when you're doing it like knowingly. But then again, if you're having more than one sexual partner, there's absolutely no 
where you can say you're absolutely sure that it's this person mm. so now i feel like women should be honest in those situations and in those times like yo i'm pregnant but there's a high possibility that you're not the father there is a possibility that you are i've been sleeping with two other you see that's the thing you have to disclose now but hey you have to, you have to own it if you're gonna do it own it like don't be don't have whole tendencies and then you don't want to own it or just make paternity testing yes mandatory approach. absolutely so, so that now you're not gonna be play games you're gonna go straight to the person that you know mm. when the belly is the father and then they're gonna go but what about what about the situation where it's like because women like to bring women like to make this argument that i did it because he couldn't have a he kid have. Mm, he was infertile but chances are it's probably true if she could have three kids mm. And they don't have one. Do you know what I'm He's saying? Probably put on it, 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 you know, mm. like that. Families would hold these, would keep these secrets and stuff like that because of those reasons. And it would be kind of like promoted that the father doesn't know, but then there'd be people who know it, but then the actual guy wouldn't know, um, because the woman would cry out like, "Yo, nothing's happening. We've been on another one." You know, then they desire to make a plan. Either the brother or the whatever, mm. whatever does some something. And like, I get the good behind that, you know, because a lot of the times people that are plagued with infertility are the ones that actually want family so bad, mm -hmm. you know, and not the ones that don't care. Yeah, paternity fraud is a serious thing and we need to find ways to get around it. Just test at birth. Like me as a child, perhaps who, who is a victim of this, who must I hold accountable? You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. now must you go on with your life? You robbed me of an identity. You robbed me of time with my actual parent. Of what if that parent actually wanted to know me? Hmm. Wanted a relationship with me? Wanted a child? But yeah, this is, this is literally the number one reason why women cheating is worse than men cheating. But anyway, you yeah. guys let us know what you think about this whole situation. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.